Hi, I'm Wade. And I'm Lorraine. And we are on, on the, the off ramp. And we're doing so, if you can take a look behind us at the building, tell me if you can recognize where we are. We're in old... Old Quebec. Old Quebec Standing City. Standing in front of uh, the Hotel Frontenac. Kind of a, the oldest area of Quebec, of course, with the fort and this great hotel. Mostly this area is a walled part of the city. Hard to find parking with a van, but we did it. So we're going to explore here a little today. And share some video with you. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Screeching noise and a loss of power steering and we're heading out of Thunder Bay as all of that happens as well as our fridge not working. So today is not a stellar Instagrammy kind of day and we are at Canadian Tire and hoping it's an alternator belt and they say it could take a few hours and we wanted to be in Ottawa today so this is all happening in North Bay. We're, we're happy that it did not happen while we were somewhere you know outside of a city so yeah in the middle of nowhere let's see what this repair how long it takes and what's gonna happen in some unique spots and while traveling we spent some time mooch talking this is at my brother's place in Ottawa it was nice we got to spend two uh, two nights here three days lots of cards and visiting and just wandering around Ottawa
headed into Quebec. We're looking for a rest stop to take a little break. And we've already got plans for tonight where we're going to do some uh, boot docking again. There, got that. made it to old Quebec. In Quebec City we are going to wander and see what we can find. We've been here once before quite a while ago, about five years ago I guess we were here. And now we are going to go wander the streets of old Quebec. But I did mark our parking spots. So. I did too. Do we want to go to that park that overlooks, we came up there, the park that overlooks the St. Lawrence Seaway? Yeah sure. And then yeah. walk our way down to the buildings? Yeah. So we're that close to the fort. Yeah, yeah, we are very close to the fort. And we're this close to the hotel. <laughs> Let's go through this park. Sure. We figured we'd start off the walk and head to the one of the most photographed locations in Canada. Is it really? It is actually. Besides yeah. Peggy's Cove. Besides, even ahead of Peggy's Here, Cove, I'm I believe. Here, we're gonna just take a picture of this. Okay, this is the Hotel Frontenac. And if you have one of those rooms, this is what you're overlooking. Part of the St. Lawrence Seaway. Uh, we won't take a tour bus today. However, we do suggest often when you're in a new city, it's great to take the tour bus because they'll give you the rundown of what's around. And then later on, you can walk to wherever to whatever interests you the most. Well, and that really helped us with Savannah, that's for sure. Yeah, and we've done it in a few cities already, so. In this very street, we had lunch one time. Yeah, we walked all along here looking at shops. And yeah. Now we can walk along here, or we can go down one more and walk there. We can walk along this wall, like here. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna climb the stairs and see if we can get across. 
not sure where it all goes. Across the fortress gate, we'll see. <laughs> It's a pretty good accordion music. Is that what they're playing? Accordion? Yeah. Walk on this side of you. <laughs> so, there's no crosswalk here, though. No. <sighs> now sit it down and then go back. We're gonna go this way. So actually, we found out that the citadel is still an active military base, and uh, you can only get a tour of the inside if you're with a guide. They're one hour tours, right? Yep, a one hour tour. Well, I have to book them ahead of time probably. Yeah, so so we are running out of time today. We could not get one today, but uh, we can still wander around the outside of the fort on the exterior walls. So we'll see what we can see from up here. The fort was built here quite some time ago. We'll put the <laughs> date up on top. <laughs> we'll find the date. We'll find a date for you. And it's built on top of a hill here in Quebec City. And it gives quite a view of the valley below. No idea. Well, there's a van way down there. Serious? Yeah. Ah, that's fun. <laughs> just have to jump off the wall to get there. Yeah. So our van is just to the right of the church steeple. And the white one, plan this better. white one further down. Yeah, we're pretty close. It's good. <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> Thanks again. <laughs> so the fort is inside the second wall. Which we couldn't get to. Which we couldn't get to this time around. We're on the outer wall, but the other outer wall does give you a good view of old Quebec, Hotel Frontenac, and of course St. Lawrence Seaway. And the promenade, or whatever you want to call that, the walkway across the water level. It's gorgeous. And we arrived just in time because about five minutes before we were here, there was a torrential downpour. <laughs> we missed that. We missed it. We saw it from a distance. We hit some of it driving, but by the time we got here, the clouds were already breaking up. So we ended up with a beautiful day. Just wandering around old Quebec and trying out the fort. We've done lots of ups and downs today. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's the ship lit up. Oh, good. <laughs> and go this way. Now, we found a parking spot for a van by luck and by accident. <laughs> and it is like three minute walk from the end of the fort. If we would have planned our walking route any better. We couldn't have. We couldn't have. Because <laughs> we had no idea. Because that's, that's who we are. Hold your plans loosely. <laughs> Sometimes that works out for us quite well. Yeah. <laughs> we just have to make sure we didn't get a parking ticket. Lots of beautiful streets and lots of streets of scaffolding. 
And lots of detours and street signs. Yeah. Now, way down below the walled part of this city is a parking lot that has overnight parking, actually. Has no amenities. You're going to pay $70 a night for that spot in a parking lot. But it's close to all of this. For a patch of concrete. Yeah, but you're close to the forts and the shops and the old city. And when we were here five years ago, we parked there to park the RV because we had no idea where to park the RV. There we are. And there it is. And uh, we didn't realize we could park on the street like this here. So we parked down there, but it was handy. I mean, we could park and we knew where our vehicle was. We didn't have to worry about it. So if we would have walked over one street, we would have walked uphill. But since we're on this street, we can walk downhill to the van. That's right. Again, great planning. <laughs> <laughs> we're in Quebec City and we're meeting some friends tonight that we met in Florida. But on the way down, we decided to take a stop just for a picnic break. And we are stopping off at a little park in Quebec City on the St. Lawrence Seaway. We saw one ship just come by. So maybe we'll see some more. Eating on the side of the road in a park on the St. Lawrence Seaway. Some chili in the stove on the stove. <laughs> How good is that? A bit I mean, of lettuce, a bit of chips, a bit of salsa. I mean, McDonald's was so tempting. McDonald's was tempting, but this is better. And here's where we parked at the roadside. I'm going to just go take a look at the St. Lawrence Seaway. Look both ways for bicycles. A couple of guys just came screaming by a little bit. of, So you do want to be careful. Rainbow in the distance. And another freighter coming in. That's pretty cool. We are just outside of Quebec City and uh, we stayed at some friend's place. We met them in Florida this last year in Cape Canaveral. And uh, they've invited us to come and stay with them. So we stayed overnight on their driveway. It was mooch talking again that we weren't expecting to do. And this is their view. We're so thankful for all of you who have subscribed to our channel and our committed viewers. We love the comments that you share with us and we know that if you're watching our video, we encourage you to subscribe, hit the bell and continue watching our adventures as we travel east. Thank you so much for joining us this week through our adventures and we hope you've enjoyed the visit through Ottawa and Quebec City. And uh, next week, we'll be heading through the Gaspé Peninsula area in Quebec. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And we are hoping to travel along the highway right along the Gaspé Peninsula. But as you know, we have to remember to hold, hold our, our plans, plans loosely. loosely.